Let's have a look at question 17 in this video. So, in 2001, X cost $3 and sold 400 units. Y cost, let me write that, 3 and 400. Y cost $10 and sold 200 units in 2002, so one year later. X still cost $3, but it sold only 300 units. And then Y rose in price to $12 and it sold 150 units. Other things the same, and assuming X is a linear function of Y, what was the cross price elasticity of demand? So we're speaking about cross price elasticity of X with respect to Y. Okay, now let's just, let's just write down what we're looking for. We're looking for cross price elasticity of X with respect to Y, meaning that we want to know the percentage change in quantity of X relative to a percentage change in the price of Y. Now, what does that mean? Let's just write it a bit more mathematical. We're looking at the change in quantity of X relative to the quantity of X divided by the change in the price of Y relative to the price of Y. And if we write that a bit even better, that would be equal to change in quantity of X divided by quantity of X times, let's multiply with the inverse, price of Y divided by the change in price of Y change in price of y okay so we got that now let's work so let's write the data basically this whole text let's have it in very simple terms let's put it right next to it so we are in year 2001 let me write just like that 2001 we know that x cost three dollars so price of x equals to three quantity demanded of x is equal to 400 units and then we also know that in 2001, the price of Y is equal to $10. Quantity demanded of Y is equal to 200 units. Now let's go to year 2002. So let's write it below, 2002. The price of X is still the same. X still costs $3. Price of X still 3 Quantity demanded of X is equal to um yeah 300 so 300 then the price of y rose it says rose to 12 dollars so this one changed and the quantity now fell to 150 units so 150 units let's pretty much work with all this data uh, so what is the change in quantity of x what is the change in the quantity of x well, the quantity of X after the change in the price of Y, because that's what we're looking for. How did the change in quantity of X happen when price increased by, by this amount, by $2, from 10 to 12? Well, the change in quantity of X is equal to 400 minus 300. So we got 400 in, in, in 2001, it was 400 minus 2002 was 300. So 300 divided by the quantity of X. And we're looking for the elasticity in 2001, meaning that the quantity that we're using is for 2001, which is equal to 400 units. So the quantity of X is equal to 400 units times. What is the price of Y in 2001? Well, we can see that the price of Y in 2001 is equal to um, is equal to 10 so this one is gonna be 10 and then what is the change in the price of 1 well it's from 10 to 12 so 10 minus 12 meaning that in the 2001 the price was two units lower so let's do the math over here 400 minus 300 that's equal to a hundred divided by 400 times 10 divided by minus 2 what can we cancel out? 410 cancels out, so this one is going to be just 40. And then 100 and minus 2. Well, 100 divided by 2 is just 50, so that's going to be 50. This one cancels out, so it's a negative 50 over 40, and that's equal to minus 5 over 4. Now, how do we interpret this elasticity? Well, that's saying that when price, so at this level, 
at this price level at the moment, if price would still increase by 1%, the price of Y, price of Y, we're speaking about the change in the price of Y, then the quantity demanded for X would decrease by 5 over 4, which is 1.25%. 1.25%. Now, if the quantity demanded of X would go down, what does that mean? It means that these products are complements because the chain of reaction goes like that. The price of Y increased. Let's just write here the chain real quick. Price of Y increased. Quantity demanded of Y obviously decreased and quantity demanded of X decreases as well because they go hand in hand. So there is no need to uh, to increase demand for X if we cannot complement it with uh, the good Y. Hope this makes sense. We are done.